like a pencil with your with Thanks. my name with my name on it. <laughs> let's, let's do some email. <laughs> What's the name of the store that you recommended to purchase blank CDs, and which kind should I get? Uh, CDRecordable.com, and I recommend Rytech if they work. Try them first. CD dash R E. I think. Well, let me try. C O R D A B L E. Dot com, or maybe it's with an S. Okay. We're gonna have to see. I I have to try it to see. No, it's uh, CDRecordable. Dot com, and they sell very inexpensive DVDs and CDs, and I use R-I-T-E-K brand, which they sell here. But cool. you could try. What I would do is, with any of these, is try them, buy a few, try them, and if they work, then buy them, then continue to buy them. Sweet. Because if they work once, they'll continue to work. Hey, that's it for the show. I want to thank Diana Forbes, the great gadget girl, for joining <laughs> us. Yes, she's a member of the Forbes family, okay? Uh -huh. She doesn't need the money. I'll be back tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern, for the screensavers, Cat, Alonzo, ROG, and Foo. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Today on X Play, a fan of the cure picks up a sword in Chaos Legion. Would you like to supersize your spy? It's Black Nine. We get down with the baggins in The Hobbit. It's almost noon and I've only had two breakfasts. Put some shoes on, Fuzzy. It's game time. Corrupting America's youth since April, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome to X Play. Today we have spies in space. Cute little hobbit. And a quick fix for your PS2 for those of you with broken PS2. Which is most of you, I'm sure. Yeah. And we have Pokemon. Yes, I know you're looking forward to that. I know, you can tell by the way my sphincter is tightening. Oh, I hadn't noticed. But first, we have a game where the hero is really, really gothy. It's like Bauhaus and the Sisters of Mercy made a hack and slash. Mm. You know, let's imagine that. This is our review of Chaos Legion. The Night of the Dark Glyphs, Zeke Varheim. Chaos Legion allows hundreds of foes to stand between you and whatever the hell your goal is supposed to be here. But relax, you'll get by with a little help with some grotesque otherworldly friends. <laughs> Spooky, spooky, spooky. The game flies its flag as one nation under goth influences. In fact, it's being billed as a gothic opera. Unfortunately, the game plays about as deep as a shallow grave, and, uh, well, there's no singing. Helping combat these foul hordes, our man Sieg here can summon up the unearthly creatures known as legions. I summon malice! I summon blasphemy! No, wait! I summon carrot top! Actually, I made that last bit up, but you get the idea. You can summon Sieg's little buddies at will, or call them for a quick assist attack. But to get the best moves and ensure that your legions can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the countless creepers, you'll have to lovingly raise your malformed underlings like satanic Pokemon. Yes, Daddy loves his Snoogie. Now, as you and your legions lay into the hostile masses, bodies will fly, foes will scream, and the constant symphony of battle will fill the room. If the game is anything, it's action-packed. On the downside, many of the stages look very similar. The soundtrack gets awfully tired, and that thing you just knocked across the room looks a lot like this other thing here. And here. And here. With all this button mashing, it's easy to be war wary before the relatively short campaign is even won. Sally, the sadistic gods of repetition have claimed this game as their own. But such is the life of a hack and slash. So while there's some fun to be had in Chaos Legion, just be mindful of what you're getting into. We give it an average three out of five.
Apparently, every recent action game now has to have some malevolent fey guy who acts like someone James Spader would have played in a movie in the 80s. But Chaos Legion, it was made by Capcom. It's the same people who made Devil May Cry. Yeah, so I guess it's okay for them to populate their little world with guys that look like that singer from Interpol. Yeah, ooh, I'm tough, but I'm nice. Coming up, is that a hobbit in your pocket, or are you just happy to see another Lord of the Rings game? This holiday, Xbox, it's good to play together. The most powerful game system now has the ultimate holiday offer. Get Tetris Worlds and Star Wars, the Clone Wars, two months of Xbox Live and an Xbox for only what? Rated E to T, Xbox, it's good to play together. Need extra cash? Don't charge it on your credit cards. Get a second mortgage with a no closing cost option from Ditech.com. With a second mortgage, you can consolidate your existing high interest debts, get the cash you need for any purpose, and end up with one low monthly payment. A second mortgage with a no closing cost option is a great idea from Ditech.com. For fast, friendly service, apply online or call 1 800 71 Fix right now. Hey guys, don't you just love the snow? Oh, what kind of world? Skiing. Oh, I love going to the Yeah, snowboarding. Oh, right. oh, right. Making snow angels. Oh, Look at me. Snow <laughs> snow <laughs> angels. Eating yellow snow. Ooh. Let me clue you in. That's not lemon. <laughs> So, Grizz, what's your position on roadkill? On my knees with a bib and a lobster fork. <laughs> well, I think you look great. This year, the holidays are gateways, so give the box. Inside, you'll find the season's hottest gifts. For a limited time, get a free gateway 5-megapixel digital camera with the purchase of select PCs, like our M675, which features an Intel Pentium 4 processor with HD technology. Act now and get free shipping with delivery by Christmas. We also have great desktops starting under $500. So hurry in, give the box. The most powerful game system now has the ultimate holiday offer. Get Tetris Worlds and Star Wars, the Clone Wars, two months of Xbox Live and an Xbox for only what? Rated E to T, Xbox, it's good to play together. Three years ago, it began. Come, Master. And now it has come to an end. Explore the fellowship with Tech TV special Lord of the Rings. Go behind the scenes, get inside the special effects, and hear what the actors have to say. Oh, he's so much under my skin. He's crazy. Tech TV special, Lord of the Rings. This Wednesday night at 8.30, 7.30 Central, only on Tech TV. Once again, the Statler and Waldorf of X-Play, Adam Setzler and Morgan Webb. For those of you who didn't know, they're the cranky critics from the Muppets. See these guys, Statler, Waldorf. You're so biased. <laughs> Change the way you rate things. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Welcome back to X Play. We have a futuristic spy game. See, but it's more or less an action RPG with a skill based system, so you can level up just all day long. Goody, please, please tell me more. Oh, thanks for asking. I will in this preview of Black Knight. That's so considerate. I know. Excuse me, I need to scan your ID tag. Behold, yet another future where we humans have mastered the art of both interplanetary travel and machine gun toting robot sentries. The year is 2080, and the game is Black Nine. The plot focuses on your character's interactions with secret societies that are attempting to control the fate of the solar system. If it makes more sense, imagine that Exxon, McDonald's, Citibank, and Caldwell Banker are all dueling for control of Earth. Uh, maybe imagine is the wrong word here. Anyway, with Black Nine, you'll have all the dastardly plots, high-tech gadgets, and Terminator clones that you've come to expect from any decent science fiction universe. It all begins with your chosen character. There will be at least three different mercenaries, with unique ratings in strength, constitution, dexterity, and agility. They basically range from fatty all the way to skinny. At a glance, the new hotness female mercenary Sahara is quick on foot and able to deftly handle the toughest hacking jobs, whereas Gruber, the big slow lummox type, is good at smashing stuff and, well, being really big and slow. 
Each character will also have access to abilities that would pass for magic in a fantasy game. These spells will range from mundane abilities such as hacking encrypted consoles to flashier effects that can knock the bejesus out of anyone that stands in your way. But you can't just run around with your pistol in hand yelling, Look at me, I'm a spy! Look at me, I'm a spy! You'll have to interact a little. What's up? Hi! You like TV? How about you? You like TV? Anyone like TV? It looks like there's going to be plenty of detail in the varied urban, outdoor, and underground environments, as well as a healthy dosage of action. So it would seem that if the idea of sneaking around a lunar colony intrigues you, then keep an eye out for Black Nine. Just remember to trust no one. How about you? You like TV? You like TV? Do you like TV? Do you like TV? Yes, yes. <laughs> I like TV. I like watching myself on TV. Though right now, I really like watching my brand new Two Towers DVD on my TV. Oh, Adam, you know they're just gonna release another, a better version, another version with more extras in a couple, couple weeks, and then they're gonna uh, release another version with more extras and things that you can't get, and it's gonna feed you and bathe you, and it's gonna cost twice as much money. So show us some self restraint. There. No, I want my Lord of the Rings stuff right now. I don't even want to be here! If you can't get enough uh, hot Hobbit action like Adam here, you should check out a preview of The Hobbit. Hot Hobbit action. Hobbit. There will be no dawn for men. The success of the Lord of the Rings movies spawned everything from video games to collector's cups. What's next? Slip on Hobbit feet? Well, close. So far, the Lord of the Rings games have walked on the dark side of J.R.R. Tolkien's tale. But now, Sierra is putting an upbeat spin on The Hobbit. You'll be playing young Bilbo Baggins, complete with furry feet. Oh, my silver pennies must be scattered all over Hobbiton. And tasked by Gandalf with venturing across Middle Earth. Traveling from Mirkwood to Lonely Mountain, you'll set out on a grand adventure. And if you leave Bilbo idle long enough, he'll take the opportunity to limber up. Little Hobbits craving action and puzzles will be rewarded with nearly a dozen massive levels featuring environments pulled straight from the book. Although, I don't recall Bilbo getting killed by wolves in the book. Heated combat in dismal dungeons is just one aspect of play. Often, oh, chatting oh, with talkative oh. townsfolk. It's almost noon and I've only had two breakfasts. Or searching for gems and coins, which increase health and spending power, takes precedence. The Hobbit incorporates stealthy challenges, jump and run sequences, and RPG style character development, taking gameplay all over the map. <laughs> Other Hobbit skills like rope climbing, lock picking, and hanging from ledges will also come into play. But we don't think Bilbo will be going out for the Olympic diving team anytime oh. soon. Oh. Wandering freely throughout the big backdrops, you'll also be ambushed by spiders and wolves. Oh my! Tossing stones at baddies or smiting them with your staff or mighty blade sting is, of course, a possibility. Then again, so is using the One Ring, which enables temporary invisibility to sneak past foes, presuming you've already obtained the artifact from Gollum. My precious. This Hobbit is peppy and colorful. Even the game's more menacing areas boast considerable charm. Based on first impressions, we haven't seen much here that makes The Hobbit stand apart from the likes of Zelda, beside the signature storyline. Hello, Bilbo. We still need more supplies for our journey. But most fans of the book won't mind. Look for more on this adventure in the making come late fall. Ooh. You know, one of the big appeals of this game is it seems like all the characters in it look like at least reference to the 1977 film version of The Hobbit by Rankin Bass. I don't know, there's a nostalgia thing that mm. makes me yearn. Oh, no, there was also that animated Ralph Bakshi Lord of the Rings that came out in 78. 
that one was a little psychedelic. Yes, and it sucked too. Mm. It, it stopped halfway through. You're like, what? What? They're writing. No, it did have awful. <laughs> anyway, the other thing I'm trying to figure out, you probably were wondering this at home. The wolves, you know, they, they, they seem to drop jewels when you smash them over the head with a stick. Where? How are they carrying the jewels? They have pockets, maybe? Pockets, right? Maybe they're pinatas full of treasure. You just Ooh, we should, let's, let's go wax some wolves after this. Okay. Up next. Adam curbed his enthusiasm over Pokemon Pinball. Hey, Vanessa, I'm home. Hey, what are you doing? Baking. Radio Shack has lots of tasty holiday gifts, like this Casio S2 digital camera a portable DVD player with accessories, or a Palm Zire 21. Buddy, you forgot to turn the oven on. I turned it on for you. Shop the shack and save big. All these CDs have to go, so we're giving them away. That's right, we've got so many CDs in our warehouse, we're running out of room, so we're giving them away free. These CDs, they do it all. They're top of the line editions of brand name software. Home Depot, Webster's Encyclopedia, Rand McNally, and the American Medical Association, just to name a few. Names you know, names you trust, and you get them free. Video Professor partnered with these companies and we have thousands of their CDs, but now we desperately need to make room, so call now and we'll send you a pack of these new CDs free. Just pay the $6.95 shipping and we'll send you $100 bucks in great name software. What do these CDs do? What don't they do? But try this for starters. Learn secrets of the Home Depot pros. Wallpapering, plumbing, carpentry, tile, insulation, and more. Then create your own home on your PC, add walls, carpets, a new addition, and see it in a 3D walkthrough. But that's not all. Create printable maps of anywhere in North America and try restaurants, hotels, and sightseeing stops along the way. Remember, this is free. How about researching almost anything in seconds? History, maps, nature, science, geography, trivia, and more. You get an encyclopedia of knowledge free when you call. Want more? How about free medical help 24 hours a day? Health information, medical emergencies, CPR, drug facts, burns, fractures, cuts, bruises, and essential information for any family. And we're giving it away. It's not price to sell because there is no price. We'll give you the CDs, you pay for the shipping, and they're yours. It's that easy. What are you waiting for? Pick up the phone to make sure you don't miss out. We need the space, you want the CDs, and you get them for free. Everyone's a winner. And if you call right now, we'll throw in a great $30 typing to tutorial CD absolutely free. That makes almost $150 worth of software free with one free call. Don't wait, these CDs will go fast. To take advantage of this risk-free offer and get your free software pack, you must call now. Call 1-800-478-3097. Building a road to a better tomorrow, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. That's nice. That's, that's really sweet. I can't build. Welcome back to X-Play. Prepare to suffer. It's Pokemon time. Yippee. All right, so now you and I may not exactly appreciate Pokemon. No. Or Yu-Gi-Oh. Hell no. Or Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Or even know how to pronounce many of the characters in them. But you know, a lot of people out there do. Yes, and I want to ask why. Why? Why do you bother me with the pronunciation things? Well, since they like them so much, we'll just put Adam aside here. We were happy to bring the fans out there a brand spanking new Pokemon game. Yes, I know, but they out there spell my name with an E. Anyway, because <laughs> when I think of Pokemon, I'm thinking of Pinball on the Game Boy Advance. Mm -hmm. Really, I do think that. Here's our review of Pokemon Pinball, Ruby and Sapphire. Does the charming appeal of Nintendo's Pokemon combine with the dynamics of Pinball equal a gotta have it? Well, it depends on how fanatical a Pokemaniac you are. The object of the game is to try and catch as many Pokemon as you can while racking up a high score at the same time. Instead of chasing the little buggers, though, you have to skillfully earn them on a whopping two pinball tables, codenamed Ruby and Sapphire. Gameplay here involves sending your Pokeball careening around the tables, hitting the appropriate targets, bumpers, ramps, gates, and ultimately, the little critters themselves. You gotta 
catch them. And they're all here. Pikachu and even little Pichu co-star as twin ball savers. Spoint cameos launching your ball into play. Plus, the big L swoops in to save your ass if you've managed to like the ball saver icon. Thanks, buddy. Strategically striking various other areas of the board reveals handy dandy Pokemarts. This is where you can purchase some fancy upgrades. But frankly, pinball wizards like me can tilt the hell out of those bumpers and upgrade my Pokeball anyway. Of course, only the smoothest players, like me, will be dope enough to uncover the hidden bonus levels. Thank you. Thank you. I'd tell you how, but then I'd have to kill you. And come to think of it, I'm not sure if the bus will take me all the way out to your house. Anyway, Pokemon Pinball, Ruby and Sapphire is a passable pinball game that will no doubt be doubly appealing to fans of the series. However, it doesn't have the kind of addictive quality or diversity that truly great pinball titles have. So we can only give it an average 3 out of 5. See, you survived Pokemon Pinball. You're still here. Yeah, but only on the outside. Okay, but really, watching this game, again, reminded me of a far superior pinball game for the Game Boy Advance, and that is Pinball of the Dead. Which was based on the House of the Dead series. It has pinballs made of blood. That's much better pinball. We smash the zombies, they explode. Exactly. Blood. It's good. That, that's how you play. You play pinball with zombies. And I'm going to say that again. You play pinball with zombies. Mm. Now that, my friend, is a pinball game you can be proud of. Right. Oh. That was very nice. Thank you for that. All right. You know what? We're just going to go to break. In a moment, a quick fix for your PS2. Wait, uh, you can stop the junkie jokes right now. Two clear to land, traffic speed two jets. Imagine zooming to anywhere in a split second. Imagine 40 times mega zoom and lightning fast autofocus. Imagine what we can do together. The new Dimage Z1. Another digital breakthrough from Konica Minolta. This year, the holidays are Gateway, so give the box. Inside, you'll find the season's hottest gifts. For a limited time, get a free Gateway 5-megapixel digital camera with the purchase of select PCs, like our M675, which features an Intel Pentium 4 processor with HD technology. Act now and get free shipping with delivery by Christmas. We also have great desktops starting under $500. So hurry in, give the box. There are two kinds of people with hair loss. Those that keep asking, why me? and those that do something about it. I got the permanent solution from the guys who were as determined as I was. You too should make the call. I'm a member of the 72 Dolphins, so I'm not used to losing anything. When I noticed that I was losing my hair, at first I danced around the issue, then I decided to tackle it permanently. These guys are serious about restoring your hair. Look at me. One call, medical hair restoration. Wanting hair on your head isn't being vain, it's only being human. MHR understands this. Not only do they have more doctors who are board certified, but most of them have had the procedure themselves. These guys get it. Make the call. Get your free information package and start regrowing your own hair permanently. Plus, call now and get $300 worth of additional grafts. One call. 1-800-670-7961. That's 1-800-670-7961.
welcome back to the show that helps those who help themselves. X-Play. Well, I guess we don't have to be here then. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, bye. Welcome back to this do-it-yourself portion of X-Play. Oh, you're back. That's nice. I'm back. Isn't that yeah. good? Yes, that's right. We're going to show you how to repair your PS2, which is pretty practical. Yes, it is. Now, a lot of you have been having problems with your PS2s not reading discs. Especially if you have an older model. Like so, if you got that PS2 sitting in your closet going, eh, because it won't read any discs, take it out. Lab, Rob, Lab Rat, Robert, Lab Rat, Robert Heron is here to explain how you can actually go and fix it. Warning, it's going to void your warranty. Yes, but it still doesn't work, so who cares? Robert, yeah. so Well, explain no a little doubt. bit about the problem first. The problem's called the disk read error. Uh -huh. Basically, put a disk in, it sits there, grinds, 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 and finally a little message pops up and says, hey, disk read error, I can't read the disk. Very very perceptive of the machine. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a while, and I first noticed the problem with DVD video, and I use my PS2 as my DVD player. That's my primary thing for it. I love playing games too, but it's my player, and I wanted to get my DVD playback back. So, after much scouring, searching, and researching, I finally came up with a solution that seems to work, especially for the oldest uh, PS2 units. All right, so okay, let's check out what's right actually in. inside I mean, this, the PlayStation. This is the guts. Many people out there may not realize this might be the first time you've seen what's inside your, you know, it's, it's like learning where children come from. This is it. Ooh, this is the guts gorgeous. of the PS2, fully exposed. And to get to it, you're going to remove about 14 different screws, okay. undo a few things, and essentially what you're going for is this little white gear. That's the evil gear That's right there? The gear that thing made out of what looks like cheap plastic. Now, okay. if you see this little brown brass part right next to it, the yeah. color part, that is primarily the, the part and the design that's going to cause you the most problems. And that's Later on the older on, models, right? Yeah, the older models use a gear, the newer models use a little tab that, that pushes up against so it keeps it from rotating at all, okay. which is what it should not do. Essentially what you're going to do is mark the original spot that this gear is in, this gear adjusts the laser height up and down relative to the disc, and essentially you're going to play with that a little bit until you get back into its sweet spot. Once it's in the sweet spot, it should be able to read all disc formats, CD audio, games, and your DVD movies. Okay, so you just put a little mark on there, then you're going to rotate it a little bit, then you're going to try a disc, you rotate it and try a different kind of disc, and That's once exactly all of the discs it. work, you're going to put the screws back in and enjoy your movies. Get right back to it. Now, okay. now to actually try out the disc, you don't have to like reassemble the whole thing with the screws back in. You're just putting no. the, the lid over this section. Now, the main part of the fix is essentially taking, once you have this access, and you can adjust okay. it easily. We've adjusted. You've adjusted. Right. Replace the cover, just so. Let me okay. just put that on there. And Looks, there we go. There we go. You okay. hold that with your fingers. I'm holding. I'm going to go ahead and close this back up manually. Let it spin up. Check your TV. Of course, we've got this plugged in while it's exposed. You want to be careful, you know. Right. And don't you know, put this on anything. so you don't look at the, you know, at, at the laser. That and I mean, if you're really stupid, go ahead. Give it a shot <laughs> directly into the laser. Everyone else or, don't do that. Or the disc may come flying off at high speed and just cut your head right off. Hold it. <laughs> hey, if you like Master of the Flying Guillotine, that's another thing to give a shot. Okay. So essentially, you wait and wait and wait. And if it's working right, Cool. You go on to the next disc type, and it's important to try with different disc types, like this because PlayStation Because there's the gold game. disc types, there's exactly. the blue disc types. You have different movie types, and for right. game discs, you have the purple backs and you have the silver backs, and you want to try them with both. I heard the silver backs give you more issues than the silver backs. Than the, the so purple backs. So right. Try it with that and with an audio CD, and when all three start to work, boom. Sounds good. You're back good. in action. Put everything back together. Reverse the order. Plug it in. Enjoy. Right now, obviously, this is pretty complicated stuff, and so we have it in in, in, in written out reading form. Extra tips on the too for yes. care and maintenance of your right. PS2 and things like yes. that. I awesome. highly advise that you go there and check it out. Don't just do it based on this. Go go read it and, and, and print it up. Thoroughly read the instructions. Yes, first. thoroughly. Okay, so now you hold this before it becomes a spinning guillotine of death. <laughs> I've got Good. it. Okay, great. And we are going to go do viewer mail. Thank you very much. Right. We're going to go to the end. Uh, my, my warranty has expired as well, so I'm getting uh, out of here. I know, oh, I know. Viewer mail Yay! time. Watch this. The really slick sitting over the couch. You did that so much better oh, than me, was, Morgan. Yes, yes. I used I the ground. The, pillow. the ground instead of the uh, other. Right. Okay, now today's viewer mail is from Marta in Waterford, Wisconsin. And she writes, Is it true that Nintendo was already planning on releasing a new console next year to get a head start before Sony and Microsoft released their new consoles? Or am I just being fooled once again? Does she get fooled a lot? Yeah, maybe. Well, maybe she <laughs> just, maybe people, clowns are like, ah, I got you, and they go running off, and they get really ah. confused. All right. Marta, here's the deal. At E3 this year, Nintendo said that they weren't going to let anyone beat them to the console punch again. They really lost a lot yeah. of ground because Sony had the PS2 come out a year before that. And so they said they're working on a new console. Right, but that doesn't mean they're going to beat anyone else to the console punch either. And also, we don't know when everyone else is going to have the new consoles come out. We're now thinking it might be 2006, possibly 2005. The earliest you're going to see Nintendo's new console will be one year before everyone else. We should know a lot more at this at next year's E3. Right. 
All right, so now we have a lot of information on our website for you. It's very important that you go there if you want to learn how to fix your PlayStation 2. Fix your PlayStation 2. Actually, write in and let us know if your PS2 doesn't work. It's kind of an unofficial poll like they have on all the news stations. Mm -hmm. Let's see how many of you actually have the disc read error. And then, of course, let us know if you find a good way to fix it. I know my PlayStation actually had a disc read error for a long time. I'm sending mine to uh, Robert Heron so I can watch some DVDs. See, which is mine actually works still. It does not. It really does? Yeah, it really does work. I'm, I'm not playing it as much nowadays, but... Right, because you have a lot of other consoles going on. So, obviously, so let us know about your PS2. Yes. Let us know about what the current games are that you're playing, because we're finally entering in to, it, this, this is the good season with the quality games. That that horrible drought of summer is, is, is now over. No more Aquamans. We're looking at some new stuff. No more Aquamans. I know. What are we going to make fun of? That's true. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to start playing some games over here. You guys, well, you're probably getting ready. So let's, as a team, let's, let's, let's get our controllers in our hands. Get ready, okay? You make quite a production out of this, don't you? I do, well, it's the only way I have excitement in my life. Oh, that's nice. I live alone. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay.